Alright, hello YouTubers. I'm still in Tamaqua and we're finishing our little adventure with the collieries. And that back that way, that's looking south down the Tamaqua. And that's where we were last week, down at the east uh, Lehigh Colliery. I got my wife with me, Jamie. And over there somewhere is my brother-in-law Jimmy. And we're gonna go look at what was called the Alaska Colliery. Now, I don't have any information. I tried looking up information on this. The only thing I found was a spot on a map from 1888 that pinpointed where this was. And, well, let's get started walking. All right, right off the bat, we get on a trail. Now down here, yeah, he's down there's the railroad. But up here is, we'll take a little walk around the path splits. It goes down. I don't think I ever went that way. Yeah, we went up there. Did we? We'll take a walk up. Check things out. And you see, we're getting on top of a structure here. Oh yeah, look at that. There's one laying down. Yeah, there's some stacked rocks. Where'd you see it? Yeah. Yeah, right up there in the woods, if you look. There's some kind of timber. Lots of coal. But yeah, that's pretty neat up there. There's something was going on up there. Way back. Yeah. Yeah, you come upon someone's little campsite here. Yeah, that's all. Ooh, a lot of brush up there. Can't get up that way. Yeah. Now, if you look, this is man made. It drops all the way down. As you can see. Oh, yeah, the railroad ties. So, this must have been where the loading platform was. So there's down there's the the railroad and Schuylkill River 309 and then over where you see that little building over there and that, that sign that was called Levan's Colliery and we're going to take a look over there at another video but there's some neat ruins over there but for now we're just going to walk around the Alaska Colliery number two. There was another Alaska Colliery up in Mount Carmel, Alaska Colliery number one. And there's some more neat structures. Oh, we're gonna go all the way up to the. I don't know. This is just like a loading platform. So there must. And there's lots of coal. There's a nice piece. Look at that. That is nice. That is. But there's a lot of shale rock too. Yeah, there's not much else they see here. You know, just moseying around. Yeah, watch, there are some sinkholes. Yeah, and this kind of ends right around here, this path. I don't see any. Ah, here we go, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Evidence. To me, that looks like 
the top of an attic. Yep. Yeah, I saw the sinkhole here, and right here's right here's one of the mine entrances. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is rough territory around here. Let's see. Walk along this ridge line and see. Here's some more of that wooden structure. Now we're on top of it. We're going to end, work our way down to the bottom of this to show you a little more. I just, just want to see. Stuff around here. Wow, look at the lumps of coal down there. Yeah. Lots of coal. And some more timber sticking out of the ground. Alright, let's take a walk. I think we're hitting the end of the path here. Wow. I don't think this is an attic. This looks more like subsidence. Take a peek in here. Yeah, nothing, I don't think that's coal mine, but pretty close. It could have been, you could have backfilled it in. Yeah. Oh, who has I fall? Yeah, I watched the leaves are slippy. Yeah, I don't think we can go any more that way, Dutch. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna go down to the bottom here. I'll get back to you when I get down there. All right, we're making our way down this way. We're up on top there. Here comes my, here comes my brother-in-law, Jimmy. Uh, this is what we were on top of. Yeah. I thought we shot that way. Down down here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, some of it's starting to buckle. But this is where I think they would bring rail cars from off of that line up this way. Oh, oh this is neat. Look how tall. Just be careful, you just don't fall. Look how tall that is. Well, over time. They weren't like that before. No. I want the land shifted. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. One day that's all going to come tumbling down. Oh, that's a good 20 feet up, I'd say. Yeah, we were just up on top of there looking around. Yeah, this would have been where they would have loaded the coal cars from the colliery. And this, this is the only thing left of the colliery. Alaska colliery number two. Yeah, there's junk. People throw junk around here. It's the only thing coal mines are good for anymore. The Reading and Northern Railroad. Now we're north of Tamaqua. Like I said, over there is 309. That goes up to hometown. Now if you look over there, there's an old building. Uh, the fire companies use that for fire practice now. That was an old winch house for a mine that was called Levan's Colliery. That was up along this mountain here. That's, that's a winch house. Up on the mountain, you can't see it from here, but there are two stone structures that look like mine shafts that were capped off. Now we'll get to that in another video. I think you can see a little bit of the one. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I don't know if you can see. We're on pointing right there. There's a little bit left of a, a mine shaft. You can see some of the rocks. And not much else you could see from here. But yes. Back to that. Yeah, we were just up there looking around. There's some more timbers to hold back the, the ground. As you can see, we're getting lower. This was a little bit of an incline. Got a picture of my brother-in-law walking down. It was like an incline, that one, of about one degree. That's where they loaded the train cars. Nice day out today. This is 
February 22nd. I'm sorry, February 21st. It's frozen. <laughs> Look at that. That's all these stuff around here. Got cold last night. Now everything's thawing up. Yeah. Ah, we're coming upon a waste rock pile. And we're also coming upon, I hear it running somewhere. Here's, thought there was some water. I hear water running. Yeah, that huge waste rock pile. Ah. Yeah, it goes up there. I see the holes. Sweet. Yeah. Now, somewhere around here is where the water came out. I haven't found it yet. Ah, here's something new. What's that? Uh, all right up here, I think, was an area where there was a mine shaft. Now, way on top of this mountain, they built the new Tamaqua Elementary School back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So they did a lot of extensive work here, as you can see. Oh, the sun's in their eyes. There's like a pitch coming down. Well, that was done when they reclaimed the mines up by the elementary school. So they can build it. They put a drainage channel down here. Now a little known fact, when they were constructing this drainage ditch, the guy in the bulldozer tumbled down this hill and was killed. But yeah, they put a drainage channel. This drains all the water from the top of the mountain so it don't run into the school. We're gonna look to see back in there. Let's go over closer. Yeah. So this is this is one area where there was a casualty. Not during the mining era, but when they were reclaiming the mines. Yeah, guy in a bulldozer. It, it must have slipped off the edge of the embankment and went down the hill. Well, he perished, unfortunately. I don't know the guy's name or exact date when this happened, but that's what they were putting this in for. This is not original. You can see a, see a pipe here to drain the water out. And you come here on a good rain, this is running like a river. And there's some old structures here. And some more timbers. Uh. I think up here was another added. This might have been the main one. Yeah, not much you could tell. Other than let me get up a little closer, see if I can find if you feel feel this hole there coming out. No. Up here a little bit. If there's anything venting out of here, oh it does go down quite a bit. A little bit of cool air coming out. So this could have been a mine at one time. I don't see it here. Yeah, it's hard to tell. When you figure how many years ago these mines shut down and over time. Yeah, there's cool air coming out of here. Not super cool, but yeah, there's air coming out. And if you look on a map, called the, look under Tamaqua Basin, it'll show you a map of Tamaqua. And everywhere they dug back in 1888, they marked it. And everywhere they took coal out, they drew a little map of lines to show you where they took the coal out. And it's extensive. And only half the coal was taken out, because if you know how the room and pillar method works, they dig out a, a row of coal, 
and then you leave a roll of coal. Then you mine out the next row of coal, and then leave the, a row of coal. That helps support the roof. So all that coal is still down there. Yeah, look at all the coal here. Wow. Hey, you want to come? Now. Yeah, watch that. Here's some timbers. I don't know what exactly was here, but up here there's something interesting. A little flat spot up here. You all right, hon? This is cool. We get a cement foundation. There's some wood around it. Now, if you look at the shape of this. Yeah, something was here. Could have been a winch. Could have been a, a steam engine. Up on top of the hill here. Well, we just came up from that path. But yeah. Yeah, there was something here. This could have been a shaft that got filled in. But yeah, pretty neat. Don't see much of anything else here. Yeah, well, I found a good seat. <laughs> Neat. I think they're breaking. Yeah, that was cut. I don't know why someone cut that down. But yeah, look all along here. There's just rocks. All the waste rocks piled up here. Well, there's something up there I want to see. See it? Nah, I don't think there's any bears in. That'd be neat to find a bear hibernating. Yeah, that's not. A, that's just wash out. Well, that's not gonna be up there much longer, I don't think. Whew. Wow. And another campfire. That's all you can do. Look around. Seek, find, and record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, someone else. Oh, where was the... I want to go back down. We'll go on the... Down up here, I want to look. There was a spot where the water came out. And that usually tells you that that's mine drainage. Well, there'd be a mine there. Maybe it looks like where it came from. Yeah, this is a nice walk. Ah, what do we got here? Flat area. There's yeah, some garbage you got in there. I just want to take a walk down this way quick. We're up top. Yeah, I just wanted to look over here. We didn't get this section yet. Just scouring the area looking for and tried to block this road off. We found a hose. All right, let me get over here first and I'll come over and see that. And see where this water came out. Well, over there's the Schuylkill River. <coughs> yeah, no water running in that ditch. But there is a pipe that sticks out of the Schuylkill River and water comes out, but I must have went past that. All right, nothing over here. So we were just up on that path. Let's go over this way. This is going back up the hill now. Over here, I know there's some neat stuff. Uh, my brother-in-law is already over there checking stuff out. All right, hon? Yeah, look at this. Nice cleared out area. I don't see anything. That's where we came down. Ah, look at this. Water hose. When they process coal, water was the main thing to, to clean it. You yeah, found the foundation, cool. Yeah, a lot of rocks, a lot of little openings. None of these look like. Yeah. I wish down that way somewhere. 
There she is. Yeah. Oh yeah, some cinder blocks. Yeah, this looks interesting, this pile of dirt here. There might have been a mine entrance here at one time. Well, why would you pile dirt here if there wasn't? Yeah, some cinder blocks. Moss is really growing this year. Can you see those black spots? That's moss. Ah, that's nice. I found some timbers. Yeah, nothing here. Nope. <coughs> hmm. Lots of coal. Ah, the Indians were here. There's another part of that hose. Now, a lot of people don't notice, but coal actually floats on water, and rock will sink. That's how they separated it. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Now, all made out of roofing shingles and tarp. Anyone in there? That's my carpet, though. Oh, there's even a futon in here. That's my carpet. Doesn't look like anyone's been in here a while. Yeah. Ah, wow, that's neat how they constructed it. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, part of a picnic table. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Oh, that's a shame. That's a nice glass there they busted. Huh? Yeah, they had carpet in there, everything. Oh, did they? Was that your old carpet? Oh, wow. Yeah? They always say, someone, one man's junk's another man's treasure. There's like a dip in the woods here. See it up there? I can't get up there to see. I don't see any timbers or anything. No, let me get back to you. I'm going to take a quick hike up there. Yeah, I just hoofed it up the mountain here. I thought that was a timber. It looks just like a tree. You see this? A V-shaped valley. I just came up from there. There's that teepee. Yeah. There might have been something here at one time. It collapsed. Uh. Oh, that's a good exercise. I need to do this more often. Yeah. Yeah, that had to be, this had to be a shaft. Don't look like water runs down here at all. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to tell without... Ah. Are we moving in? No. Oh. Is this our new home? <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Now over here there's something I know is very interesting I want to check out. Okay, so this is all waste rock we're on top of. I look over the edge. See all the rock? Especially over here. This is all oh, here's some ash. Huh. Found an ash pile. What was that? Sound like you're playing horseshoes. Now over here there's something really interesting. Nice shiny piece of coal. Ah, you see it? Part of an old car, right from the 50s. It's buried because we tried to pull it out. It's an old car frame. Yeah. 
Well, this. well, this is all waste rock. Could have been an abandoned car that they bulldozed over. Yes. I was looking for that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see much of anything else here. Yeah, we got a backtrack. Alright, let's go back this way. Uh, that is, uh, what I'm looking for. Hold on, I'll get back to you. I just found something really neat. Just watch I'll cut myself on it. Look at this. No, an old gas lamp. Or an old uh, oil lamp. Oh, yeah, I see that. There's the knob. There's the knob right there to turn the wick up and down. No wick in it. Yeah, it was laying right That's here. Oh, they did that all the time around here. Once the mines were abandoned, this became garbage dumps. To this day, yeah. Yeah. Now, I was up here once before, and we found an old baby carriage. From the 20s, at least. It was one of them old props. Or pram. They call them a pram back then. There's another part of that car. Leaf spring. Right there's the bumper. That's the leaf spring, yeah. The yeah. bumper's up there. Yeah, that's all I see of that car. But there was a, like a, an old pram or an old baby carriage with the hood. Is that an egg? Ah, uh, you remember these? I'm sure you ladies know what this is. There was a nylon stocking company called Legs. And they would come in an egg. I'll bet you this is one of those eggs. Plastic, of course, it's not real. Yeah, I have them back in time. Remember that, hon? No, Penny Hose Company legs. There was a piece of that egg that they used to ship them in, remember? That was cool. She doesn't remember. <laughs> But those of you who grew up in the 70s remember them commercials. Alright, yeah, I don't see that baby carriage anymore. Someone must have taken it. But it was like the hood. The cloth hood. With that little S-shaped design on it. Alright. Yeah. We get somewhere else here in a minute. Yeah. That is an old shoe sole. That's where they used to nail them to the... That's an old work boot. I bet you that was a miner's old a boot. Miner. There's a what? There's a miner's yeah, Probably. Yeah, there's nothing on here. I don't know how old this is. It says neoprene on it. Could be from the 60s, but that was that was the ones the shoemakers used to redo your soles for you. Use yeah. nails. Cool. Leave that there. Yeah, I don't know if it was here. You'd have to get an actual picture of it operating to see exactly where everything is. What'd you find there? Spam! Alright! That's probably from the camp over here. Well, I'm sure the miners ate spam. They took canned goods down with them. Yeah, they used to. Yep. I like spam. I don't know about anybody else. Alright. Well, let's get down to the railroad here. Uh, yeah, this was the Alaska Colliery. Oops. Yeah, so this was the Alaska Colliery number two in Tamaka. So, uh, that's about as much as I can show you here. Uh, got another spot we're going to check out today. So. Until then, yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this video here. As you can see, there's the TP. But yeah, this was all Alaska Colliery number two. I don't know when it was operating. I haven't found any information. If anyone wants to tell me, put it down in the comments. And well, we get to our next spot. I'll see you then. So comment. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, and I appreciate it. If you have any other places you want me to explore, please put it in the comments. Uh, until we get to our next destination, I'll see you then.
That's when we were trying to give up looking for wine, mine water. I think we found some here. Let me get down this way. Oh, this is steep. Be careful, hon. You all right? You might be able to walk around up that way. Let me just grab a picture of this quick. Yeah, here we go. Definitely mine water. Now there's that pipe that came out. Oh, cool. Should I climb through it, hon? <laughs> it's only a drain pipe, but. Oh, that is neat in there. Yeah. Yeah, that went over to that uh, uh, ditch that I told you they made down the side of the mountain where the, that accident happened with the bulldozer. The water's not running out here. About five feet below it is. So that's evidence there's an added here somewhere. It's buried. Yeah. Now I was told don't disturb this water because if you do you can release gases that could be potentially dangerous to you. Uh, something called yellow boy. Yeah. Cool. So well, there's... That was probably part of the mine. The water runoff. Alright. And it just drains right into the Schuylkill River from here. Yep. Wow, look at the ice formations that water's making. That's cool. All right. Okay. Cool. Evidence in my mind. Watch no fall, hun. That's about a five foot, six foot drop. All right. I'm gonna do it. If you want me to walk through it, I'll walk through it. Well, I actually have to crawl on my hands and knees. So. Yeah. Well, I'll show you what it was like being a miner. Exploring with the coal cracker. <laughs> oh, that's neat. 